Hi everyone! Well, in the previous video we had discussed uh, uh, the machine learning applications to text uh, processing, extracting tags from a text, specifically uh, the genre of the film from its synopsis. In this video we will go through uh, building a REST API with Flask, deploying basically the model that we had built. So, you can find the, the API in the folder uh, in GitHub, like uh, for the main code. The API is uh, uh, saved as a Python script, and we can go directly through the code. The goal of this program is from two uh, comma separated values files, one to train the model and the other to test the model, we are going to get a, a comma separated value CSV file with one column for the movie ID and the other column for the five most probable genre of the movie. We are going so to send the test and the train CSV file to the program and uh, to process it. As I said, we are going to use Flask to build uh, this uh, program interface. We import it, then we import the other libraries, and we define custom functions that we will use later. For example, uh, pre-processing the text uh, to clean the text uh, from um, accent, uh, apostrophe, etc. All this is explained in details in the previous video. We are not going through it again. Model we are going to use is a LSTM neural network. Top five predictions. And here, the code to upload the files that we are uh, going to work with. We have to create a folder for the train dataset and one for the test dataset. We config, we give the config command to the API so that it will recognize this as the upload folder and we define a route to post the CSV file that uh, we want to use as uh, training for our algorithm. then another route for the test file and finally here we don't need to specify any folder that's the folder that uh, contains uh, the api finally we will post uh, uh, a command to run the api so a request basically um, the request uh, will go through the script so we, uh, we transform uh, the CSV into a pandas data frame, we run uh, the machine learning model, we will get the prediction from the test uh, data set, and we finally will create a CSV file that we will be able to download. Let's see it now in practice. So let's run the script. This uh, is going to run locally now. There we go. Now our uh, uh, API is listening on port uh, 5000. And to communicate with it, to send it also the train and test file, we are using the program Postman. So let's send the train file. Here I already have the, there we go. I already have the right, uh, folder, I select the train file, the CSV, and I send it. It has been successfully uploaded. I do the same for the test file. And there we go. Oh. Never mind. 
uploaded successfully. Now it's time to properly run the machine learning algorithm. That's it. Here in Postman we see that it's sending the request and the output is pre-processing, lemmatizing, is basically running the code that we uh, briefly went over before. Of course, details of the code, as I said, provided uh, uh, both uh, in my blog, both uh, in the previous video. So I'm not uh, going through these uh, in details right now. So that's it. We have obtained our predictions. For each movie, we have five uh, genre tag, and we can save the response to a file. Save it on the desktop. Save. OK, well, job is done. Uh, small points. This uh, is uh, for demonstration purpose, of course. But uh, normally, you don't train the model within the API. In uh, this other video, uh, the trans uh, similar model is uh, to predict the tags uh, for uh, Stack Overflow questions. I load uh, directly uh, the model as a pickled file, and uh, the API is uh, running, is importing and running it. Other thing uh, uh, is that we don't uh, run API on a local machine, typically, but on a server. In this case, uh, the API was hosted uh, uh, kindly by my friend Giulio on his personal server. Videos in French, feel free if you want to watch it, this one. Anyway, I hope uh, that uh, uh, this was useful. The code, as I said, is available in GitHub. Please feel free uh, to ask questions in the comments and to the next video. Thank you.